Welcome to What Are We Playing This Week, the show where I recommend you a few games based on certain criteria to play this week or whenever you want. On this edition we have co-op games, games which you can play with your friend or your friends or with people in general that you find not very annoying. Games you can play to have fun with someone and then probably have a reason to strangle them. Because you know, co-op games and some people don't understand that co-op means cooperate and not run ahead and let you die repeatedly. First one up is Trine 2. Now this game is one of my favorite. Not only does it have gorgeous graphics and an art style that just evokes what a fairy tale should look like, but it also has good gameplay with puzzles and some combat and very good cop that lets you play with up to three people. Well, three people in total, so up to two other people besides you. Each character in the game has a different set of abilities, like the wizard can summon box says the thief can just swing around and has a bow and the knight has a shield and is very very strong. That may seem simplistic but trust me it's a very nice game to play and it's available on Steam now because of the summer sale for just 2 euros and 55 euro cents. Up next is Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes, the kind of game that you may end up strangling someone because of. Uh, this is a bit of a different take on a co-op experience, you don't actually play it directly in a co-op mode, instead one player has to disarm a bomb and the other one knows how to disarm it. The catch being that the person that knows how to disarm a bomb that has all the manuals can see the bomb. So the first player will have to tell them what the bomb looks like. And trust me, it's a doozy. The bomb is freaking complex. It has wires, it has pins, it has all sorts of stuff. It's, uh, it's gonna take a lot of communication, a lot of communication, which is Quite a good approach to do a cop game and not just, hey, shoot that thing, give me some ammo, cover me, you know, what cop mostly means in games. You can find it on Steam for 9 euros and 90 euro cents because of the Steam summer sale, otherwise it'll be 15 euros, which may be a bit much. But it does have VR support, which is nice. It makes you feel even more immersed when you try to figure out what the bomb is. And lastly, this is the game I actually picked up for myself from the Steam sale, it's Dead Rising 2 Off The Record. Yes, the best Dead Rising game that's available for PC. A lot better than Dead Rising 2. Why you may wonder, well, one, because the main character doesn't look like he was hit in the face with a shovel, Two, the story is better. Three, Frank West. Four, more items. And five, yeah, cop. No, not really sure if the second one actually had cop by default or if that's just a Dead Rising 2 off the record thing. Nevertheless, this game lets you play as Frank West and Chuck Green if you go into cop in another zombie outbreak, this time in a um, sort of Las Vegas type setting with all sorts of casinos, hotels. There is even a theme park called, are you ready for this? <laughs> it's called Uranus Zone. Yeah, the game will beat that joke to death and back and death again because it's full of zombies that get horrible things done to them by Frank West using, I believe, a weapon called the Penetrator. I'll let you just imagine what it does. It's hella fun, and when you play it with someone else, it's hella funner. And it has a sandbox mode, meaning that if you don't want to go through the story, through all those checkpoints that require you to do something at a specific time instead of going around killing zombies, you can just go in sandbox and dick around with zombies to your heart's content. Oh, by the way, do not buy the DLC for this game, it is broken, as in it does not function and Steam should look into it, because God knows Capcom won't. This game is available now on Steam, thanks to the sale for just 6 euros, but keep in mind that you can't play this in Germany, because Germans, and the full price for this would be about 20 euros, which is a bit much considering that uh, the fourth game, The Rising 4, which would be actually the fifth, no, yeah, fifth and a half if you count that other thing, is gonna be out in a couple of months. And it also stars Frank West after seemingly having gone on a diet and regrown some hair. Well, that's it for what we're playing this week. See you next time with more gaming recommendations.
If you enjoyed this show, hit the like button, subscribe and share it with your friends. Or if you thought it was horrible, then share it with your enemies and make them suffer. We shall be your weapon of vengeance. But if you liked what you saw, you could, I don't know, maybe donate because basically YouTube is horrible at revenue by using the link in the description or just buy my book. It's a fantasy book about, well, a lot of stuff. I guarantee it won't suck, and if it does suck, you can find me here and complain about it.